Once the pieces have been repaired in this way, they can be reassembled within a framework of new lead. Tony Cattle will be responsible for re-leading all the conserved panels. Wow, so this is where it's all coming together. Yeah, this is um, not the final stage, but we're getting towards the end of um, the conservation, if you like. Mm. So um, you're putting in new leads? You're putting in new leads all the way around, com being completely re-leaded. Uh -huh. And it does it like a proper painting now, doesn't it? It does, yeah, and that's, that's the idea, really, is to make it look like a proper painting mm. without noticing the ledge so much. It's, it's where art meets <coughs> practicality here, yes, isn't it? it is, yes. Because mm. yeah, you use the wider lead yeah. to outline the figures, yeah. and that helps them stand out, but I suppose it's also to keep it strong, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's also, yeah, you, you do need some substance there, mm. you know, some strength in a panel, you know. You, mm. So is it very hard to... To do the um, leading on this? Not really, no. This, I mean, this piece is particularly easy, really. Um, it's the angel's foot. Chance That's... I can have a go? Yeah, sure, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sure. Um, wow, it feels so fragile. It, okay. is, it has actually been bonded there. So. Yeah, be careful of the bond. Yeah. So, so what happens next? Well, really, you just need the lead that you're going to use for that, which is a five millimetre, five millimetre piece. Uh huh. And you would then... To find your length you need is just stand it on one end and okay. roll it round like as if it was a ball. Like this? Yeah. And then yeah. go Until like that? Yeah, come back to that point there. OK, oh, I understand. How's that? That's fine, yeah. And just okay, a little so bit about A little bit because mm -hmm. it's got bends. Yeah. <gasps> what do I do now? Hang on, I better put the glass down. Yeah, a sharp knife is... A, I can't tell you how The most important is, tool. So, <laughs> so cut? Cut directly down. That's like it. that? That's it. <gasps> wow, yeah. OK. So and then we take stage. the... Yeah, you take the glass, um, looking at that, it wants to end at that point there, so... OK, so we need to give it a bit start. of an overlap, yeah. like that. And then wow. slowly manipulate the lead to, to fit each... To fit into the facets. ...right in, because the next piece of glass would be going up to that edge, so... Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's quite malleable once you... It's very work soft. ...work out the tension. Yes, it's quite soft. There we yeah. go. And then around and then this bring toe... bring around that end. Oh, my goodness me. So then I'll just keep following... Just follow the, the shape the of the glass, yeah. And then try and get it back yeah. into position. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. What uh, an experience, thank yeah. you. Wow. Yeah, you just, you just need, just to finish it off, really, you just need to put a nail in just to hold it uh -huh. either side and... Thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you're very welcome. Very thank you for trusting me with such a fragile <laughs> material. <laughs> of course, this is only one panel. There are 311 in the whole window. But it's a real privilege to have been allowed to make even a tiny contribution to such important work. A project which, it's hoped, will transform not just our experience of the East Window, but of the whole Minster.